New study is ranking the best and the worst states to be a police officer in 2023. And California comes in at the top spot. According to Wallet Hub, our state tops the list, followed by the District of Columbia, Connecticut, Maryland, and Illinois. The study looks at a number of factors, including salary, police officers killed on duty, and educational prerequisites in training. At the very bottom of the list, West Virginia, Alaska, and Arkansas. And joining us now to talk more about the findings of this study is California Highway Patrol Sergeant Brian Pennings. Thanks for joining us here, Sergeant Pennings, as always. Uh, give us some insight why you think that California ranks number one. You've obviously had a long career here. You've worked in other states as well. Yeah. Well, that's a that's a nice lead in that, that we did. And basically summarize it has to do with salary and benefits but for the most part. Uh, we are amongst the uh, highest paid in the country. Um, and uh, we, are, we are compensated not only with salary, but with retirement and medical um, uh, leave and time off, um, as well as some of the best training in the country. Uh, so it, it doesn't surprise me that that report uh, focused on that, mm -hmm. but, um, but that, those are the reasons. Yeah, and we've heard for years from politicians that we've been losing uh, law enforcement officers because of the high cost of living and they're offering incentives. So mm -hmm. this is made up for that? Well, it, 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 does, it is expensive to live here. However, California is a very diverse state and we, there's areas as far as with our agency where you can maintain your same salary and go live at a lower cost of living uh, in other areas of the state. Uh, so it took the totality of the state, not just the metro areas, but right. the rural areas as well. Can I quickly touch on the metro areas? Because as we've been seeing in the news here downtown San Francisco having to close Whole Foods stores and Nordstrom's and department stores because it's overrun with crime. And then Sandag came out with this study today that said violent crime in San Diego is up by 2%. So we're named by Wallet Hub as a top spot for law enforcement, but yet we're seeing a rise in crime across the state from according to these studies. Uh, what is the disconnect there? How do you perceive all that information? Well, we, we need people to come and do this job and we need uh, people to be interested in this job. I, I, just yesterday, I, w I was talking to a traffic control person who worked for a construction company, 27 years old, doesn't know what he wants to do for his life, and I, I literally recruited him. I had a 45-minute conversation with him about, where are you going? What are you doing? How, how, how much should you be paid? What are you gonna do in 30 years from now? What are you gonna do in 20 years from now? Where are you at? And he actually gave me a hug and mm. said, thank you, you changed my life. So uh, we need people to have the conversation. We need people to, to be interested in a career in law enforcement. And they, uh, it, it, if I can have somebody talk to me, and I, just like this individual uh, yesterday, uh, I, can, I can let them know and, and show them you know, where they're going and what they're doing and the options that are available to them. There have been a lot of notable stories in recent years regarding police and not so favorable light, right? What has your experience been out there? Have things changed in recent years with the perception between the public and, and law enforcement? Um, well, I, I will tell you that we have, um, you know, we, we had the whole George Floyd uh, situation. We had the civil unrest, and those are people. People have right uh, right to do that. Um, we work very hard to maintain a public trust, and we our department has a public trust initiative that we've been working on s since uh, well, for about ten years now. Uh, and uh, the majority of people trust us. The majority of people have faith in us, and the majority of people support us. Um, and we work hard for those people who don't to educate them. Uh, on the the actual facts and circumstances, and not the rhetoric and some of the lies that they've been. Have told. things changed in recent years? Though? Have you seen yes. a change in perception? Yes, yes, we're we're we we're noticing a significant change uh, in uh, in the perception as far as as far as uh, the negativity that we experienced a few years ago. Why don't I ask you real quickly? Because uh, so people know uh, the opportunities that are out there. It's a little more than the uniform for sure, as yes. you have divulged, but. If you, if you don't think that you're right to be in a uniform, there's ever other job opportunities within law enforcement. Can you explain? Yes, I, uh, we, we have joined the CHP 1000 where we're looking to hire a thousand more officers, but there's so many other opportunities. We have mechanics, we have commercial vehicle inspectors, we have uh, 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 professional staff, uh, non-uniform staff, and if they go to, uh, you know, our- We have a our, link our, on our website. Yes, yes, for CHP Made For More. There are, there are opportunities throughout the entire state, thousands of opportunities for people to come and join and uh, go home and look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I made a difference today. 
Well, and I tell you what, uh, I believe that you could talk anybody into anything. So <laughs> I, I just contact Sergeant Jennings because <laughs> you could talk me into anything. Uh, Sergeant Brian Pangs, we appreciate the insight. As always, you're <laughs> always talking to us about the rules of the road here at Fox yes. 5. And now we're talking about uh, the enforcement I, uh, side of it and why California is a good spot to do yes. it. Yes. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank it. You nice to see you. Thank you.